This a Radigan story, real reggae story, foundation story. Attention please. This is for David Radigan. Just want to say thank you for all the wonderful music that you have provided for us through the years. David Radigan is the master of them all in the dance hall. Tick a tick a tap, tick a tick a tap, ready play non stop. Whoa! When you're on stage, you have to entertain. It's not the same as acting in that sense because music is a very, 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 very real thing, and, and you're the person playing the record. And uh, you can just play the record and, and say nothing and leave it at that. Or you can talk about it and you can enhance it and big it up. 60s, 70s, I'm sorry. On the front of the big French issue of the brand new magazine, you see who? You see a picture of who? Osborne Runner and King Tommy. When you're playing to 2,000 people, you have to energize that audience, I believe. Otherwise, you know, boredom perhaps could set in. What do we love more in England and Jamaica than any other sport apart from football? Cricket! So here we are for another magnificent test series, England versus the West Indies. Hundreds have turned out to witness what promises to be a great night of cricket. Music is powerful and I think sometimes uh, it can be more powerful if it's presented uh, with, with passion and um, that's what I do, that's what I love to do. I did a clash in Brooklyn uh, in Queens against Bodyguard and I came on as a jockey. The clash with Kilimanjaro in New York, I thought what can I do? I'll write a news spoof saying that David Rodigan has landed in America and he's hijacked, he's cleared customs and immigration. We know he's a sound system serial killer, he's wanted, and he's uh, hijacked a taxi at the airport and he's put on the, uh, the Sikh turban and he's disguised as a Sikh Indian tax driver because there's loads of Sikh Indian tax drivers in New York and he's headed for Long Island to kill Ricky Trooper. And that was on the news flash and then I walked onto the stage dressed in the turban and it just brought the house down and then people still say oh that was a that was a wacky idea and it did work i am not knowing why these little sound boys are not having respect for their elders david radigan is the best selector in the world i see him play for the king coppers and the bengal tigers of india and all they do is sit around and lick their paws and the, the snakes they like to do dances to david radigan selection so please can you be playing the music for us mr radigan please thank you now this is a state of the union address to those with a musical interest from the Minister of Argument and Reasoning, the Maharaja, shine it for the kiss, eyes in your eyes and beast in your face. Adam Rose, what me say? Well, rough and rugged, David, you're rough and rugged, shun the pun solid, bit 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 rough and rugged, David, you're rough and rugged, be a funk. Yeah, you remember, watch your man. I love to think in clashes of wacky, crazy ways of of doing that. What can I do to make tonight special? Good evening, this is Chris Tarrant and tonight we are at the Marcus Garvey Centre in Nottingham to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Before pursuing a solo career, Cornell Campbell was a member of which famous Jamaican vocal harmony group? Was it A. The Melodians, B. The Ethiopians, C. The Maytones, or D. The Eternals. Billy. Billy. Is that your final answer? The correct answer is D. The Eternals. Oh, oh, oh. Right. A couple of other clashes I've really enjoyed doing. Uh, one with Metro Media, a Big Belly Sky Juice, who is a real theatrical character. In my opinion, he's one of the greatest selectors on this planet. He's an Englishman in Jamaica. You can see it when he walks. I'm an Englishman in Hartford. I said the people good morning. Big Benny Sky Jules. A big Benny Clan singer tonight. Sky Juice, you don't take off 
the t-shirt yet. You better save the t-shirt for the last one for one. Because you know when Sky Jules busts the t-shirt, I let the belly go. It's a forward, right? So watch out for that forward, not respect. Sky Jules, this is listen! And that was a great night. We really had a ball. And one of his big moments is when he takes off his t-shirt and shows his big belly. And uh, he's so entertaining. Uh, also the clash um, with G.T. Taylor in Jamaica and Windsor Lawn and it's called uh, Clash of the Millennium, it was leading up to the Millennium and uh, that was packed uh, on Windsor Lawn and that was an experience, you know, turning up, uh, having customised dubs made for him and it was, you know, really exciting and, and a lot of fun. Will it go to London or will it stay in J.A.? Not if Rodigan has his way. Welcome to Reggae Trail TV. My name is Susie Q. On tonight's edition of Reggae Trail, you're gonna get a chance to see a little piece of history. The Clash of the Millennium, David Rodigan versus GT Taylor. Reggae Trail TV understands that the dancehall master puts up a good fight, but it was just not enough to test the experience and knowledge of the reggae ambassador, David Rodigan. We're ready! First of all, respect to Mr. David Rodigan because you are an ambassador for Jamaica music. We honor you, sir. All right? But this is war ground, and you're in the war zone. When I first came to Jamaica 20 years ago, the first thing I learned about sound was that if you ever play back a tune in a dance, you're dead. Mr. George G.T. Taylor, you have been found guilty of the attempted murder of Mr. David Rodigan on the night of the 14th of August, 1999, at Windsor Lawn in Jamaica. This was a premeditated, brutal act in which you tried to chop up Mr. Rodigan with sharpened pieces of circular black steel, more commonly known as, as dub plates. You see, we know, we do, we talk, we make the tune talk for we. See we? The following is a dance all news break. I'm Andrea Williams with this breaking news story live from Windsor Lawn in St. Anne's Bay, where visiting DJ David Rodigan was found with multiple dub plate wounds all over his body. Residents of the area who found the British National say he was disoriented and did not know a turntable from a hole in the wall. Eyewitnesses told our news team that dancehall master G.T. Taylor was spotted leaving the scene of a clash. Ways of making the clash interesting, not disrespecting another selector, not being, not using foul language, not talking about, you know, the slack things they talk about, just making it entertaining. Also, um, clashing with Mighty Crown in Hartford, Connecticut, where that was one of the great moments of sound clashing, where Wycliffe turned up with Maria Maria on a special. I, I was standing on stage and I saw B Beast, Wycliffe's bodyguard, and I was like, the Beast's here. And then there's Wycliffe standing in the wings. I was like, what? I ran over and said, God, God, oh my God, what are you doing here? He said, do you know what the number one record is in America at the moment? I said, well, actually, I don't, because I've just come in. He said, it's a song called Maria Maria by uh, Carlos Santana, Julie the Product, and me. He said, I produced it. And I said, yeah. I said, oh, congratulations. He said, yeah. And here's the dub plate. I said, what? He said, yeah, we voiced it yesterday in Brooklyn, in New York. Cut the dub this morning, and I've driven up here to give it to you. I mean, Wycliffe Jean drives from New York to give me a special, calling Mighty Crown's name on Maria Maria. He said, play it in a one for one. I played it in a one for one. It's one of the biggest forwards I ever got. The whole place exploded. That was a, a, you know, a night I'll never ever forget. Thanks, Michael. Stop shooting, stop shooting. Big pocket on the corner. Uh -huh. Why your sound is getting weaker? Battle against the place getting stronger. Mighty, mighty crown. Mighty crown. But take your crown, Nick, and let it kick. 
Connecticut area. Special request. The sound system culture is 50 years old from the pioneers in Jamaica, Coxon and Duke Reed, V Rocket, Nicks and so on, Sebastian. The sound system culture was growing at such a rate that it needed to be presented. The first ever International Sound System Festival. We wanted obviously to, to take the, the prime movers uh, who had started sound system in this country. Soundquake, Pow Pow, City Walks. And... Last night was the first night and it was frankly awesome. Um, Space Odyssey, Stone Love, Bobby Condors and Massive P uh, with Jabba and Bur Burra Banton, uh, Barney Miller, all the top sound systems from Europe. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. And everyone who create and sing and perform reggae music will love you. we were at four o'clock this morning both tents were firing and that's great great for reggae music straight big up david radigan on your 25th anniversary straight love trevor sack saxon said that we got radigan 25 years strong you know what i'm saying love you know what i'm saying you know how we roll 121 mad family said no respect to david radigan radigan no mingo with no man 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 The European reggae scene is, is something that fascinates me as well. The youth of Europe have really fallen in love with reggae and its culture in a big, big way over the last 10 years. It's fascinating to see the passion and commitment that they have to the music. Bob Marley's youngest son has come to conquer. And the tune we're going to play is without doubt one of the milestones in the history of the music. It takes the inspiration of Ayni Kamal's inside the bar of Shakespeare. And Junior Gang turns the world upside down if you love like the music of Shinka.
across Germany, Berlin, Cologne, Dusseldorf, Hamburg, Hanover, there are so many sound systems. I mean, look at Gentleman, the most successful reggae star in Germany. This guy, when he performs, he roadblocks areas in a total sellout. I first heard him on a microphone playing on Pow Pow Sound in the early 90s in Cologne, Ingo and Mr. Brown and Bakra, the whole team, Devon, you know, they're totally committed to the music. Also down in, in, uh, in Italy. Hey, shamane, shamane, bedama, shamane, bedama, shamane, shamane. Going to Italy to, to play with One Love High Power and all the doves they've got, it's amazing. Uh, playing in a captured fort under moonlight, the first show I ever did, I'll never forget that night. Playing in Milan, I'll never ever forget that. The sun came up, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people on the beach, all real die-hard Italian reggae fans. <laughs> Right up, living up, living up. A sunrise. Round by five ladies, dainty babies, rocking and jigging to songs of all ages. Living up, living up. A sunrise. This night and this morning, when that sun is rising now. Moment, look. You see. Jesus, no one can't recreate that. It was like, it was unbelievable. We're playing in a bar on the turntables and there's the water lapping behind us and, and the, the sun and the moon and then the sun coming up and oh, it's just unbelievable. Up in Perugia, there's an amazing scene. And then Switzerland, wow, Geneva, Zurich, Bern, all these young sound systems. It, and in Sweden, Stockholm, uh, you know, Malmo, it, Wow, Denmark as well, and in Holland, and in France, Paris, playing Paris. You know, just, and they love it. They really, they, they love it. They, they immerse themselves in it. They're totally devoted to it, dedicated. They fly to Jamaica. These guys are dub plates for their sound systems. You know, just totally, totally immersed and devoted to the music of, of Jamaica. Fa fa fascinating, fascinating. That there, there is the real growth area for reggae Europe. This is special now. Ha! No other sound in the world can play this. This is Stephen Marley and Christopher Ellis for David Ruddy. They love you, David Ruddy. They do. They can play like you. Sure. you play that upset them and the things you say that distress them Roddy wanna spend your whole life playing tune cause you love this hey Roddy playing till the end of time the other sounds were untrue so when it came you I said he will spend